welcome to sofia english channel today we are going to see about uh, different ways of communication different ways of communication as we saw before if you if you missed to see it kindly click the description box link what is meant by communication definition and elements so different ways of communication there are several different ways we share information with one another for example you might use verbal communication when sharing a presentation with a group you might use write written communication when applying for a job or sending an email so these are like this only we are going to see the different ways of communication what are the different ways we are using while we communicate for example speaking writing and so on i welcome to enjoy this video with all the different ways of communication explanation so with this we'll go to this video kindly watch and you can take a note till the end first verbal communication there are four four main categories or communication styles including verbal non verbal written and visual so first is a verbal verbal communication is a use of language to transfer information through speaking or sign language it is one of the most common types often used during presentations video conference and phone calls meetings and one on one conversation verbal communication is important it is efficient it can be helpful to support verbal communication with both non verbal and written communication here are few steps you can take to develop your verbal communication so here we can see the few steps which can develop your verbal communication so it's a very very important how it is a most for first one that is a verbal communication use a strong confident speaking voice especially when presenting information to a few or a group of people be sure to use a strong voice so that everyone can easily hear you be confident when speaking so that your ideas are clear and easy for others to understand use active listening the other side of using verbal communication is intently intentionally listening to and hearing others active listening skills are key when conducting a meeting presentation or even when participating in one on one conversation doing so well will help you grow as a communicator avoid filler words it can be tempting especially during a presentation to use filler words such as mm, like so or here yeah. while it might feel natural after completing a sentence or pursuing to collect your thoughts it can also be distracting also and we can see a non verbal communication trying presenting to a trusted friend or colleague who can call attention to the times you use filler okay next non verbal communication non verbal communication is the use of a body language gesture and facial expressions to convey information to others it can be used both intentionally and unintentionally for example you might smile unintentionally when you hear a pleasing or enjoyable idea or piece of information non verbal communication is helpful when trying to understand others thoughts and feelings if they are displaying closed body language such as crossed arms or hunched shoulder they might be feeling anxious angry or nervous if they are displaying open body language with both feet on the floor and arms by their side or on the table they are likely feeling positive and open to information so here are a few steps you can take to develop your non verbal communication notice how you can how your emotions feel physically throughout the day as you experience a range of emotions try to under, 
identify where you feel that emotion within your body for example if you are feeling anxious you might notice that your stomach feels tight developing self awareness around how your emotions affect your body can give you greater mastery over your external presentation be intentionally about your non verbal communication make an effort to display positive body language when you feel alert open and positive about so and these are the important element these are the important steps you can follow during the non verbal communication mimic non verbal communication you find effective if you find a certain facial expressions or a body language beneficially to a certain setting use it as a guide when improving your own non verbal communication for example if you see that when efficiently use sorry when someone nods their head it communicates approval and positive feedback efficiently use it in your text next meeting when you have the same feeling next we have written communication written communication is the act of writing typing or printing symbols like letters and numbers to convey information it is helpful because it provides a record of information for reference writing is commonly used to share information through books pamphlets blogs letters memos and more emails and chats are a common form of written communication in the word plus here are a few steps you can take to develop your written communication skill strive for simplicity written communication should be as simple and clear as possible while it might be helpful to include lots of details in instructional communication for example you should look for areas where you can write as clearly as possible for your audience to understand so it's a very very important it's to be strive for simplicity and the next point is it's a very very uh, it's a very very important steps you need to follow do not rely on tone because you do not have the nature of verbal and non verbal communication be careful when you are trying to communicate a certain tone when writing for example attempting to communicate a joke sarcasm or exist excitement might be translated differently depending on the audience instead trying to keep your writing as simple and plain as possible and follow up with a verbal communications where you can add more personality take time to review your written communication setting time aside to reread your emails letters or memos can help you identify mistakes or opportunities to say something differently for important communication or those that will be sent to a large number of people it might be helpful to have a trusted colleagues review it as well keep a file of writing you find effective or enjoyable if you receive a certain pamphlet email or memos that you find particularly helpful or interesting save it for reference when writing your own communication incorporating methods or styles next visual communication it's a very very important one visual communication is the act of using photographs art drawing sketches charts and graphs to convey information visuals are often used as an aid during presentation to provide helpful context alongside written and or verbal communication because people have a different learning style visual communication might be more helpful for some of some to consume ideas and information here are a few steps you can take to develop your visual communication ask other before including visuals if you are considering sharing a visual aid in your presentation or email consider asking other for feedback adding visuals can sometimes make concepts confusing or muddled getting a third party perspective can help you decide whether the visual aids value to your communication so it's a very very important thing you must follow when you are using a visual aids and the next important one is consider your audience be sure to include visual visuals that are easily understood by your audience for example if you are displaying a chart with unfamiliar data be sure to take time and explain what is happening in the visual and how it related to what you are saying 
you should never use sensitive offensive violent or graphic visuals in any form to make improvement to your communication skills set personal goals to work through the things you want to accomplish step by step it might be helpful to consult with trusted colleagues managers or mentor to identify which areas would be the best to focus on first so it's a very very important one you must be clear what you in what the area you're focusing with that you must consult with your colleagues and your friends so it's a very very important when you have a visual presentation to make an improvement you must use you must use it okay if you like this video kindly subscribe my video if you like this explanation kindly comment me if you want any more to be explained kindly comment in the comment box so that i try to explain your needs for example essay poem or anything if you like this kindly subscribe those who are new to this channel kindly subscribe my channel and support me and if you want to see all the notification after subscribing kindly click the bell icon to have a notification of new explanation every day i try to upload it and if you like this video kindly give a like button and if you want to share among your friends kindly share and give me a comment thank you thank you for your valuable time to spend with me and listen this communication thank you all